Uh, welcome to welcome to episode two of Sounds of Valhalla. Uh, I'm Nico. I'm Noah. And today we're going to be talking about something huge uh, that happened earlier this morning. Uh, Bethesda, or well, Zenimax and Bethesda, was bought out by Microsoft, and this is this is fucking huge. This yeah. Is, this is big. This is big plays, boys. Big mm-hmm. plays. Yeah. No, this is definitely a bold move on uh, mm-hmm. Microsoft standpoint so um yep. i so guess we, we should probably just jump right into it i mean today's uh, monday's september 21st and uh zenimax uh, media which is obviously includes uh bethesda software yep. the publisher they're acquired by microsoft for 7.5 billion dollars which is no small feat that is i think that's the biggest um like the largest transaction for gaming that has been done for, by uh by microsoft what, yeah uh, like as a total i was gonna say like uh, it's crazy and seven point what five billion that's like oh, chump change yeah because the amount of fucking money they're gonna be making off of this is gonna be crazy it's gonna yeah. be awesome like um so i guess now that you know we got the premise of what happened you know today the biggest thing that is crazy is because uh they announced it today and if i'm not mistaken uh i'm pretty sure i'm not i'll double check the marketing strategy it's fucking crazy is that the xbox pre-orders are tomorrow that's when you can start the pre-orders so for them to release this information the day before the pre-orders start is it's it's mind blowing. It's like it's, it's honestly it's, it's like such a good idea. That's like exactly that was like what we were talking about this morning. Like that is such an amazing business move. I feel yes to drop this giant bomb <laughs> and it's just like it literally just like gets people going to the point where it's like oh you know maybe I should get an Xbox. I mean for all the other reasons other than you know the Xbox Series X yes. is, mm-hmm. has already been like cited as being like a stronger uh, like system than the PS5 will be. Mm-hmm. Uh, like this almost kind of like this this will definitely make some heads turn and make people think about oh maybe i should go to xbox then if they're gonna have these i mean and we'll get into like it possible mm-hmm. the possibility the, the the unlikely possibility of them becoming exclusive titles to xbox yes, and, like I, and that's like and that's like the thing because uh as of right now people have no idea like are mm-hmm. is it going to be exclusive like i don't know uh do i really want to take that chance like right, how exactly. like how well it's the what the what Microsoft is basically in my opinion what they're doing is they're like how much do you really love this <laughs> love yeah this exactly, exactly. Like, <laughs> like do you, do you love it enough to where you're willing to take that chance that we're not going to have it be exclusive or right. like and i'm pretty that... sure if i didn't like i i'm i read this morning you know I was trying to do a little bit more research and just elder scrolls like personally i'm pretty sure elder scrolls is the highest uh, yes. like selling like game oh. series and not like individual games yeah that's yeah, minecraft series, is the individual yes. game but uh but it's series of all time so oh, again like, this the, this happening the day before mm-hmm. these console releases like this was Crazy. just like such a prime business move it's it, oh, fucking alphas right there they yeah. know they know how to run they right. know how to run this shit and like that this, is just what i found was i was like oh bro like damn and I, uh, I was scrolling through some shit uh, before I went to work, and uh, I happened to go on TikTok, and there was uh, a video of, uh, I guess it was like uh, some Harry Potter game or something, and they were making it seem like it was going to be a PlayStation exclusive, and one of the comments that I seen was, it says, uh, Xbox players and their car racing exclusive games and there was like a shocked like emote face and Mm -hmm. then under that it said playstation players when they find out that microsoft bought zinamax slash bethesda shocked face i was like bro yeah it's like that's (laughs) that's exactly like you can't talk shit you like sony is man like xbox out here making plays like yeah i don't this... think people understand the the like where they can go from this they can mm-hmm. this has opened up so many opportunities yep like, exactly it's like so many doors have been opened just by this deal alone because i mean obviously over the last few years 
they bought out a number of companies. One of the bigger ones, like known ones, have been like Obsidian. Mm-hmm. So it's like they, they're buying these publishers up and these developers, and they're really just like kind of cornering the market in a way. So it's like they talked about they don't really want exclusivity. Which yes, I guess we can exactly. get to the point about like the possibility of Microsoft being being a Microsoft only game for Elder Scrolls mm-hmm. Six, um, Fallout Five, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and all those kind of games. I don't see that happening, just because based on what Microsoft has said, they don't want competition with Sony. They really are trying yes. to get away yeah. from exclusives overall. And I was going mean, to say because like uh, first off, prime example is Minecraft. Minecraft mm-hmm. is a really big game. Uh, if they wanted to do, if they wanted to say, they literally, they bought Minecraft. They could have said, fuck you, you mm-hmm. know? Exactly. But they, but they want that money. That's yep. what it is. They don't exactly. care. Sony, Sony, I believe Sony didn't want to do crossplay on Modern Warfare because they didn't want to do crossplay with Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. At mm-hmm. first, they weren't going to do it. But obviously, they ended up doing it. And it's like, from my standpoint, it's Sony is the one that doesn't want, uh, anything to do with the other yeah yeah exactly like from the outsider like view of it yeah. obviously we don't i haven't read any articles or anything about exactly. it or like research it, but it, it seems that like sony is trying to distance themselves from microsoft yes and microsoft is more just like, like no like we just want our games we want I mean, to, we want to own everything but we want everything mm-hmm. like to be up all on all these other platforms and that was like the biggest thing obviously with minecraft best-selling game of all time like and they like, they made it a point that you know we don't mm-hmm. want this to be an exclusive only exactly. for Microsoft. Like to be fair, uh, to be fair, uh, the one thing that they did uh, with Minecraft and it it's understandable and it's good that they did it is that it's like uh, I believe it's like with modern Call of Duty uh, how Call of Duty used to be um, like first month exclusive to Xbox. Meaning you got all DLC, yeah, like a month yep. before. Yep, I, I do remember else. that. Yep, that was huge it, for Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. And then, get it 30 days and before. then they lost that. They lost that contract. Xbox did, and PlayStation got it. And what I'm saying is, is I believe with Minecraft, what they did was they uh, have the Bedrock Edition only for uh, Xbox and Windows, yep. and and PlayStation just has the basic minecraft yeah and so they still have minecraft but microsoft and microsoft uh and their like products that they own have the better more updated version of it so you know what i'm saying is like so you still have you can play it on both but you still have more you have more if you play it on our product basically yeah exactly it's like a little bit of incentive you know yeah exactly they're not saying you have to buy ours to play it but if you do you're gonna have a better time right you know so yeah i mean just to like just to round that point out and just end it really it's just i mean microsoft like i said they they don't want to be competitive that's Mm -hmm. like that was their whole point so like when it seems like when they're buying up all these companies and these developers and these publishers they really are just wanting to put their name on things exactly and then open them up because i'm Mm -hmm. pretty sure um i mean correct me if i'm wrong because i I don't even know if you would know but um uh oh jesus what is it the zombie game uh save decay save Save decay yes I'm pretty sure that is no longer. It might be Microsoft exclusive, but I don't. I'm not sure it is. It anymore. currently is. It, uh, okay, but that's something uh, where I can see in the future for the third game. I mean, if they're going to be coming out with one, which I imagine mm-hmm. they would. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be a Microsoft exclusive anymore. Yes, because it. Uh, they started to do. Um, obviously, not all Microsoft games are. Uh, are like ported over. To, to the computer right uh, exactly but they started recently doing that and one of the games was state of the k so i can see like them kind of like testing grounds maybe to see if it's gonna you know how it'll do how a port will do because then right. they'll port it to like you know other consoles maybe. and i feel and i've played the first state of decay and second state of decay on pc and they mm. they run well i mean obviously exactly. i use a, i use a controller personally but i mean i've played them mm-hmm. i remember playing state of decay one on the 360 and it's pretty much seamless when it comes to the controller use and like configuration and just the the gameplay overall is 
it's well yeah. ported. Like it's a very it's it can t- you can tell they took their time with the port. And I think I think uh wow, what was I going to say? Um uh did, 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 uh <laughs> I can't think of it. It was something to do with PlayStation and Oh, yeah. So, that's why it was like I said, so I think they're they're Microsoft. Let's be honest, they've they're all about that money, right? Mm-hmm. So I think what they what they're doing is, like I said earlier, is they're not they're not saying it's gonna be exclusive, and they're not not saying exactly, you know? yeah. Because then with that, if they do it that way they can get the people who are true fans of like a series but don't want to miss out on it you know yeah like hey i'll buy this and then you got the people who are just fans of it and they're like oh well you know no biggie and then they'll just still buy the playstation and then they can just release it on the playstation thus still getting the money from them you know Mm -hmm. and just so i definitely think obviously they just bought it you know so We'll see how thing, where things go from there. Uh, right, exactly. And then, um, so, yep. Yeah, so I guess just going on from that, um, just want to kind of touch quickly on the possibility of other companies poss- like in the future oh, being bought out, yes. and that's like Ubisoft, EA, uh, Take-Two Interactive. Those are the guys that own uh, Rockstar Games and, mm-hmm. and 2K, um, possibly being acquired by or absorbed by Microsoft in the future. I think... Def- I don't know if it'll. It's something. I don't think it's something that's going to happen in the near future. No, I think no, it's no something way. though that you know within the next possibly 10, 15 mm-hmm. years we could definitely see. I feel like a lot more companies are going to come into Microsoft's fold, just because they and have the money to pay them. Exactly. That's and, what I was going to say. Like, like um, when I earlier when I said that this was such a big move and it has opened up a world of possibilities for them. I meant as in the aspect of money wise. Exactly. They, Bethesda Zenimax is uh, ES, ESO, I know isn't their biggest, but ESO, uh, Skyrim, Fallout, mm-hmm. Dishonored, Doom, uh, Wolfenstein. I mean, some of the biggest, biggest single player. Right, and they're always the most anticipated games. too. It's exactly. like Bethesda always has the most anticipated game, even if they're games that, like, I mean, don't do quote unquote well. well like mm-hmm. prey and stuff like that like these exactly. are amazing games like if you actually sat down and played these games like these are games that are very much hyped and a lot of people are looking mm-hmm. forward to playing even if they don't get the exposure of games like you yeah. know elder scrolls and, and exactly Fallout. and in the sheer amount of money that they will make from these games is is crazy it's gonna be crazy exactly so not only are they racking in money from minecraft they're racking in money from Bethesda Zenimax games. They're racking in money from people who are building computers, buying Windows keys. Uh, they're just ra- racking in money from anything and everything, you mm-hmm. know, Apple products. They just, and to have, gaming is is growing socially. Like, oh, it is. In, like, a social I mean, standards. I mean, a social standard, I mean, it's becoming more socially. I'm exactly. Like, I mean, it's never been, like, so too, totally, like, yeah. unacceptable, like, but I mean, exact, it's definitely become like, more socially acceptable. More mm-hmm. people have, um, like, the ability I mean, to stream and stuff like that, so. Like, people can go to college for esports now. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, like, it's seriously, get... it's like, it's becoming something where it's like, you're seeing this everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, with them buying a game, uh, game company uh, like this it's and like I said earlier some of the biggest you know games uh, it's it's really going to open up a world of possibilities because they'll make so much money from this that they will potentially in the future be able to buy these bigger companies like we were saying like Ubisoft EA obviously that's if they're willing to be bought out you know yeah. we don't know exactly but I'm sure if the price is right and Microsoft well, a, yeah. has got that money, I mean, you know, like, and I guess like that's, speaking of which, what yeah. is Microsoft's net worth like, or worth in general? Uh, let me check really quick. Cause I didn't look at their actual net worth, but like, I'm sure it's ridiculous. Yeah. I was going to say it's probably off the charts, bro. Um, 
Ooh. What is it? Let's hear it. One trillion, over a trillion dollars. One trillion? Like that is absolutely insane. What did we say that Sony? Did we say what Sony's was? Yeah, I've got that written down. Um, Sony's like overall net worth is around forty billion dollars. I mean, it's it's sales every year. It goes well over seventy billion dollars in sales every year. Um, But damn. Exactly, and then Sony, Sony Music alone. That's one Mm -hmm. of the top three like music brands. I mean, obviously Universal is the top. top. Yeah. But uh, Sony Music alone is worth seven billion dollars, and that's I know that's no nothing yeah, to, to yeah, scoff exactly. at. Yeah. But it's just it's mind-boggling to know that, that a company is literally worth over a trillion dollars. Like that is that is like, crazy. Like a that tenth is... a tenth of the nation, the U.S. nation's debt. Yeah. And like this, is <laughs> literally this company has this much money to throw around. And that's and that's and like I said, so now they get even more money. So I'm I'm really excited to see see where there is i know a lot of people hate on microsoft and it's like it has its ups and its downs but let's oh definitely but you don't you don't see people out here building a fucking mac you know to play (laughs) even though i'm pretty sure mac is still microsoft you know you know you you get the gist of it though like right i mean you can obviously you can add like windows and shit to them to to a macbook and have it technically not be uh, apple but but, but I mean, still, you got I mean, that was a bad example, but you understand what I'm saying. It's like, no, exactly. The, yeah, no, the, people, when they're going out and they're building BCs, like you're, you're nine, ti- nine times, I don't know, I shouldn't even say that. Like, literally, literally not, like 999 out of a thousand times, you're, you're going to be building a Windows built machine. Exactly. Like a, and so people want to shit on, shit on fucking Microsoft all the time, but it's like, yo, without Microsoft, like PC gaming, I mean, you'll have the parts, but the software is right. kind of key to exactly and that's i mean that's also you know to, and microsoft's like you know kudos to them they i mean they've built this up too it's like they've been yeah. cornering the market for a while i mean they, exactly they saw that you know gaming on pc back from the beginning you know this is going to be big so they also had their, they've always had their machines mm-hmm. since like the, the 2000s you know they've had their machines that are capable and more are more capable yeah. of running yep. video games exactly um, so and I guess I can... Oh, sorry, you got something else? No, no, I was going to... Yeah, continue. I was okay. going to say about next thing. Oh, yeah. No, I was just, just going on, and the next two points are kind of mixed into each mm-hmm. other. But uh, t- talking about just um, the longevity of Sony in the future, um, and we'll touch a little bit on Nintendo, though they're kind of in their own realm. I guess I guess it... Did, I guess it... Um, it depends on what basis of Sony... Because Sony isn't just gaming, okay? And exactly. Not Microsoft that's, isn't just gaming and that's either, huge. though. Microsoft yeah. has other products like your Apple um, and just other shit. But Sony, Sony's got movies. Sony's got, like you said, music. Like, yeah. Sony isn't just... Uh, yeah, but they, they got, like, a ton of... I mean, seriously, compared to Microsoft, I feel like they... I mean, I could be wrong in this, but I feel like they have a lot more hardware as well like um i mean they've got their 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 laptops they've got tvs they've got you know headphones exactly yeah they've got Um, just like hardware like just you know media hardware mm -hmm. so like it it all depends on like i said uh because sony i think i think just based off of like gaming aspect wise i definitely see sony getting and it's going to be really controversial, obviously, because mm-hmm. I'm personally always been a fan of Xbox. But still, with that being said, I definitely don't see Sony being at the top in, like, no. in the future. That's, uh, and, and, at least in gaming-wise. Like right. I said, they have other great aspects as a company. Right. But gaming-wise, I definitely don't see them right and there. and like up until this point i mean even the sales projections still i mean i obviously after today everything could change but the sales projections for the next consoles are still that you know playstation mm-hmm. is going to win the console yep. wars that could change after today's announcement yes exactly. i mean that's that's like one of why this whole like announcement with zenimax is and bethesda and is huge because it literally can open uh, literally can change people's minds on like what they're willing to pay and also just you know the fact again that for the same exact price you can get the xbox series x which is Mm -hmm. a more capable machine exactly yes like the i i seen breakdown videos of of the 
Xbox Series X. And first off, let me say, they literally have a SSD like that you can buy and plug yeah. into your into your computer. Uh, not fuck <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, and yeah. it's like literally like that big, and it just plugs into the back of it, and it's an SSD like a terabyte SSD. So the fact that they're making and making this stuff, you know, is just. It's I mean, awesome. it really is. I mean, like, that's kind of the thing. They got a lot of shit last gen for the mm-hmm. Xbox One being more of a, an entertainment center than a console in itself. But let's this, be honest, I mean, it's about I mean, what a console is in general. It, exactly. Like, and, like, that's the thing is, like, they kind of made that step forward, and I feel like it's taken people kind of a little bit of time to mm-hmm. catch up with that. But even with that being said, just the Xbox Series X, and I haven't looked too much into the Series S just because it's a little bit of a lesser. Yeah. It is seriously, I mean, it's almost like a freaking PC. PC. I mean, exactly. it really is. Like, this thing is, this is built. Like, this is a strong mm-hmm. console. This is a console that, you know, I mean, barring any actual, like, hardware it's, issues, yeah. like, this is something that you're going to be able to play for no problem for 10 years. And I can, I can see just with, uh, with consoles in general, just progressively getting to that point to where it's like, you're just buying a pre built at that yeah. point like I mean, a really. tower like because uh consoles are starting to have um mouse and key uh adaptability or compatibility not adaptability compatibility so the playstation was the first one to allow uh mouse and key on certain games yep. and they're starting to do it more and more so at this point you already got pc hardware inside of it What's the difference, really, uh, when it comes down to it between console and PC? Uh, PC costs more, yes. It runs better, yes. And people can complain about that all that they want, but it's the truth. But then again, you can literally set your... If you wanted to, you could set your PC up in your living room, hook it up to your TV, and use it like a console. You know, you can play games with controller... You can watch movies. I mean, this isn't... Like, people like to complain about Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, and the quote-unquote console war, by the way. Like, but it's stupid, because it's literally all the same. People who say PC is better than console, and console is better than PC... They both have their pros and cons. But oh, yeah, when definitely. When it comes down to it, is they're the same. They do the same thing. One has just more, slightly more precise functions than the right. other, you know? Exactly. It's, it's But, I mean, also, I mean, that... that's, and again, that's a give and take, too, because, I mean, mm-hmm. you get those, I mean, I mean, obviously, since I've, since I've come to PC, I've, ha- I've had Xbox 360, Xbox mm-hmm. One, PS4, uh, no, exactly. PC I've owned now. a PlayStation I mean, myself, by I the would, way. I, I personally would out. never go back from a mm-hmm. PC, but I also now realize now, like having a PC is very expensive to like have a yes. high end PC. Like yes. it's and and then you know there is that little bit of, you know, you can go things can go out of date a lot quicker on a PC. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like like we we're saying though, um, PC PC price. You know, like my my rig back here. It cost me in total uh, around, let's see, my graphics card alone was $600. So with that and the rest of the parts, I believe it came out to be around $1,400. And that even is considered pretty cheap for, uh, for yeah, a PC. Exactly. So like when you're getting into the high, yes, um, stuff is getting cheaper as we go. But the basic it, thing is, is console is cheaper and pc is more expensive and that's all that it really comes down to i mean yeah the the, end, and the gap is closing start too to, exactly I mean, they are getting uh, like pcs overall are getting a lot cheaper cheaper and they're getting better parts like, too that's the thing, and then yeah. consoles are getting better parts also themselves so like i said you know in the end i really don't see there being um too big of a too big of a PC difference. PC war anymore, you know? Yeah, exactly. I've... Um, yeah, no, I totally agree. I think I, it's just getting back to, like, it's talking about, like, like mm-hmm. the longevity of, like, Sony overall is, I see them sticking around for a while. I don't think Sony itself is, yeah, Sony no. itself is going to be around. I don't the, think that will like ever, we, like, like, we had, like, we were saying, I'm pretty sure, I mean, possibly 
we can get into the next point a little bit of the possibility of Microsoft acquiring Sony slash and or like PlayStation mm-hmm. Network. That I think is a real possibility in the next like fifteen years. I think Dep- if they were going to do anything, they would acquire PlayStation Network. Exactly, and I think that's what it would come down to. That's and again, that would also have to mm-hmm. be that that's Sony's baby yeah. too. I mean, they exactly. are breaking in seventy billion in sales in that alone, so it would, it would have to be a hefty offer to take PlayStation Network. And I feel I feel like at that point though is like Sony would like if it was to ever happen, I definitely think. At that point, um, I don't know how to explain it. My my thing thoughts is that like at some point or another, if that does happen, one console will just be created, you know, mm-hmm. AK, you know, and then, or even if they didn't want to do that, you know, they could still have their diversity, you know, have an Xbox, have a PlayStation, but just have all multiplayer games crossplay, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, no, that's that's true, and I think that's definitely something that I feel like that has to happen eventually. Anyway, it's, it's at like, some point, it's gonna happen. Like it's Let's gotta be. be there's. I mean, that's that's the thing, and I, that's where I feel it's more Sony than Microsoft at this mm-hmm. point. Like, just kind of like, like, hey, you know, we want our own thing. It, yeah. And it's just like, at this point, like people want to be able to play with each other. Like yeah. that's why games, like I mean, especially I, mean, I, I hate the game, but Fortnite. <laughs> like why you know i still jump on every once in a while is because i got friends on ps4 that play exactly it. Mm-hmm. so it's like the ability to play a game just a common game together and that's it's why huge. like i'm excited it's for again not to toot it's you know not to no, but rogue <laughs> company dude yeah, like that's why i think rogue company is going to yeah. be big because once that goes free to play i feel like mm-hmm. a ton of people on playstation yeah i mean all Man, over are gonna pick that game like up. i said i, I <laughs> We might be fucking, you know, riding Microsoft stick right now, but, but yeah, yes. anyways, no, but exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's what it's got to get down to at some point. I'm pretty sure it's got to get to a point where, I mean, I and I feel like the, I mean, the consumers are at a point where everybody's kind of mature enough where like there's mm-hmm. not as much of that console war anymore. Yeah, and now, not it's, anymore. now it's everybody just, you know. You no, know, people will like to play what they like to play, and I don't exactly. fault anybody for where they want to play. You want to play on console, you, especially you want to play on Xbox, you want to play on Switch, you want to play on PlayStation, you want to play on PC, but everybody also wants that ability to play certain games mm-hmm. together. And it's also getting to the point where it's getting cheap enough to where if you work a good job, if you know you got the money, you can honestly pick up both. You know, mm-hmm. if it came down to that, it's re- at at one point, and I'm not even flexing. Literally, I used to work at like subway and you know i didn't make much money and whatnot but at one point i owned it owned two xboxes a playstation you know and i would hop back and forth between them Mm -hmm. all the time and it's because you can always find it cheaper you know someone may want hey get tired of playing games and you can buy it it's getting to the point where you can either play one or the other or own both or you're crossplay and just you know where it doesn't matter exactly and i like that I, I really do i mean and when it comes yeah. to pc again just like a little snippet i mean just going back to you know how the, that 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 price that gap is sh- yeah like it's getting closer and closer I mean, you can honestly get nowadays you know a, a, a pre-built pc for mm-hmm. 600 800 bucks yep. and it's not i mean it's they're not bad systems like they're exactly. going to la- they're going to last you at least a few years and like that's even before even just upgrading stuff and you yeah. can upgrade stuff and then that thing's going to last even longer so and, it's like and then, and then you another... can that's that's why i like pc too is like you can customize it to like what you're going exactly. to play because if you're not if you don't need a super freaking high high mm-hmm. go rig like i don't like you can mm-hmm. customize that and it's like just in general uh we're getting a little off topic but i want to throw mm-hmm. this out is like with pc um prime example of, sh- of stuff getting cheaper is the rtx 30 series the oh my rtx gosh, yeah. um tw- i bought the 2070 when it first came out and it was 600 and some dollars that was for the 2070 now the 3070 is going to be 500 dollars when it first comes out so right there that you know that's only like 100 and some but not only did it drop in price it increased in p- power and that's like the biggest thing they say a 3070 is equivalent to a 2080 and a 2080 was like i believe like 800 dollars. yeah no it so was a very it's like, expensive i mean just... and, then, and then like the 3080 is uh i believe it is um 600 i believe i'm not sure 
$600 and it's equivalent to a 2080 Ti, which is $1,200. So right there, like that's ha half the price, you know, and you're getting more power. Mm -hmm. So with as as stuff as we progress, you know, it's going to be cheaper and yeah, pretty much. And then you now let's get back to topic of. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, I guess just the, like the last point on this one is just touching on Nintendo and how they kind of fall into this whole thing. Nintendo's Nintendo. They've got their own thing going, and it, like no matter what people say about the sales in the U.S., I feel, and I haven't researched this or anything, they are so big in Japan and just, just Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. I really don't see. They're never going to like go out. No. And no. like that's the thing is like they'll if they ever start like you know needing money they'll do exactly what they have been doing, where they just offer something for an exclusive amount of time. Everybody jumps on it. Everybody buys it because they're afraid of you know exclusivity. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. Yes. And um. And the, the big thing. You and just and they're fine. The thing is that that company's not going under, and that it yeah. hasn't gone under. It's not going to go under. And the one reason uh, I don't think Microsoft will be able to obtain Nintendo is because. Nintendo, they know they're killing it, you know? Oh, First yeah. First off, um, like you said, Japan and all, like, these uh, uh, countries in, like, you know, Asia and whatnot, it's, uh, they're really big into mobile, like, m mobile, not as in, like, phone mobile, but as in, like, yeah. playing on the go, handheld, all this, you know? So they're making, like you said, they're not making money here, but that's a huge thing over mm -hmm. there. And... Microsoft is more like you know uh, at home, computer. home entertainment. Yeah, exactly at home, and so I don't really see Microsoft being you know, yeah, they can if they were if they were at all able to you know buy them out, they could try to continue to do you know what they do, but yeah, like I mean, and honestly, just like end it. I I mean, really, the coming out with like the Switch Lite. And that mm -hmm. was obviously this a while ago now. Yeah. But again, just being able to have your system with you anywhere you go. Yeah, yeah exactly. That is huge. And huge. especially mm -hmm. in like Southeast Asia and Japan, like that whole, mm -hmm. the whole region there. I mean, and it's honestly, I mean, I've, I've been back and forth on planes quite a bit and I see people all the time with their switches on the planes. Oh, so it's 100%. like, and, that, and that's here where like, technically they're not doing as well. And I think, mm -hmm. like I said, like they're never going to go under because they're always they know their consumers mm -hmm. exactly and they, and they know and then all of a say i mean oh something that's always going to be in their favor is the nostalgia factor even yeah. us being younger yep you know we've still played mario kart we've still played yeah. those like super Pokemon, nintendo games just like all exactly those, like, so know, it's like it's that like... stuff is and that stuff's always going to hold like something in our hearts but it's mm -hmm. also like that's something that's you know they've made sure that it has skipped a generation it's yes, gone to the next exactly. generation yeah. so it's like it's not something that's ever gonna end yeah um so let's uh talk about our final point then um where money money wanna, money we might add one um xbox well first off i did not know this okay mm -hmm. uh xbox game pass is generating six billion a year that yep. wait, that a wait a minute wait a minute what was that nearly of... nearly the entire annual revenue of activision blizzard what yep Exactly, and they are the most valuable third game, third uh, party game publisher ever. You know, Activision, the Call of Duty. The fact that Game Pass alone, God, so just a subscription service, is getting that. that much money. That's insane, Jeez. and that again, that kind of looks towards the future where it's like Microsoft. I feel like they've got it all, like got this all planned out. They've mm -hmm. got it all going for them. They know. They, they've got it. They think they've got like a ten-year, twenty-year yeah, plan dude, in place I, where they're going to take over. I did not know. I didn't know that fucking Game Pass was killing it that much, bud. Like, yeah. and now that they, now that they own uh, Bethesda mm -hmm. and Zenimax, they can start to introduce those games into their yep. Game Pass. And exactly. Which people would be like, I mean, that's the thing dude, is like they've got. Like, I mean, shit, I've, I've already had. Um, like, I'm pretty sure like Zenimax like Bethesda mm -hmm. and, and Xbox, they've always been close. Like, they've always oh, yeah. been close uh -huh. in getting things in there, and they were huge supporters of the Game Pass, which is why, like, you'll see some of their games already in there. Yeah, so... But the, um, but the, but the introduction of even all mm -hmm. of these games that aren't oh, in there, dude, and I don't know, I don't, I don't have the Game Pass, so I don't know exactly what is in there, but, I mean, 
getting games like Dishonored and Wolfenstein oh, and Prey. And I keep talking about Prey because I love that game. But, like, all these games that previously for licensing mm-hmm. issues or something, this, that, or the other thing, the fact that you can put them on Game Pass, you know, spend whatever it is a month. I think it's only, exactly. like, Imagine it's really cheap. And they always have to... deals on it, too. Like, every time you see mm-hmm. I think it's, like, it's like 10 or 15 bucks a month. But then, all like, the time you can get it for, like, $1 a month here, $8 yeah. a month there. Discord, like, that's insane uh, to have, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's, like, 50,000 titles on there. Yeah, and then Discord also, uh, if you buy Discord Nitro, which is, like, you know, $10 a month, and I do it because of many reasons, but there's a lot of people, and they give out, uh, Discord actually gives out, uh, like, a three-month membership, yep. uh, you know, codes to, to people to the Game Pass, and just imagine that they put Bethesda Zenimax games on Game Pass and being able to go and play all, imagine if they add all, like, the Skyrim, like, not the Skyrims, that was so stupid, I actually fucking hate myself for <laughs> saying the Skyrims, I hate it when people say that, so I hate myself right now, but playing the elder scrolls for fuck's sakes <clears throat> being able to play all the elder scrolls all the fallouts all the wolfensteins you know it's mm-hmm. just like all these really good games that people love and the and for us it's cheap you know oh yeah 15 dollars a month and you i mean obviously yeah play all these great games you know at any time i think i did not know they were killing it though yeah no like, they that, are actually that much. like that's crazy they're doing well and that's like i my jaw dropped when i read those numbers i was like holy mm-hmm. shit that like the game pass alone is bringing in six billion a like, year i was like that is a ton and again like that's it's always i mean not something i would get into just because i like to actually own the games i have exactly. personally mm-hmm. but the thing is like having access to over fifty thousand titles so many like that's insane and like that's where xbox game pass like did it right compared to like mm-hmm. EA Access when EA Access came uh, out because yeah. EA Access was I mean obviously it came out and there was only when I started it back when I got my Xbox One which is obviously like almost it was literally you know, just like sports games. years and years ago but it was literally sports games there mm-hmm. was one Need for Speed and then there was one Battlefield yeah it was it wasn't so much. it, it wasn't, really worth wasn't worth it and it. then they didn't really expand upon it too much I don't think. I believe I believe Sony doesn't Sony have something so similar or no um i don't know because i'm not up to date on it back when i had the ps4 they had playstation plus mm-hmm. and that was like i mean that turned into a subscription service for like online but yeah for a while there it was just having access to like games for free and stuff like that um i'm sure they have their own service i'd imagine they would at yeah. this point all right <clears throat> so uh with all this uh being said pretty much you know like we're like I said earlier, um, with Microsoft buying out Bethesda and Zenimax, uh, it's definitely going to open up some huge, uh, huge options for uh, Microsoft as a whole. You know, um, and I'm really excited to see where they're going. And just like I said, I can't wait to find out if it's going to be exclusive. Let's be mm-hmm. honest; it's most likely not. Probably not, to, but but, but you know, it's we never know. See. So. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. So with all that being said, we're gonna end the podcast here. Uh, we do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, uh, hopefully next week we'll be releasing our uh, podcast. We're gonna be doing them on our favorite games, and we're very excited because this podcast definitely has to do with them. So mm-hmm. uh, stay tuned to those, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave. A like, comment, and subscribe. All right, See ya. Thanks, guys.